Hey everyone and welcome back to another video. Today I'm going to show you how to paint a pineapple. So let's do it! Okay, so to start, I'm just going to go through my materials. I have my Arches watercolor paper, my Winsor Newton Cotman watercolors, my Princeton snap brush, I'm going to use a size 10 today, and I have my water and my paper towel and we're ready to start. Okay, so I'm just going to show you how to do a simple pineapple shape. Um, it's fairly easy, it's very loose, it's not going to look too realistic, but it will look cute. <laughs> so I'm just going to take a light wash of my yellow. I just have some yellow that was already mixed on my palette from before. It's uh, some cadmium yellow hue, I believe. So just a light wash. And what I'm going to do is I'm just going to start kind of creating like little rough triangles. Honestly, really rough, but into the shape of a pineapple. So just going in, but using those white spaces, making sure there's white spaces in between these. So just really try not to think too much about it. Make it really, actually I might bring it down a bit more so I can do the greenery a bit higher. But you're just kind of using the shape of your brush to create these almost like triangle <laughs> shapes, not really, just down and up. Okay, very, very rough. We're gonna go back in with some darker colors, so you gotta make sure it's still wet. So you're gonna wanna move fairly quickly. If you're using some cheaper paper, um, it might dry faster, so you might have to re-wet some areas before you go back in. But very, very rough, and then just kind of bringing it together at the top, like that. And now you're gonna take your yellow. I'm gonna use some Cadmium yellow, like I said, and I'm just gonna drop some in there. Not overwhelming it too much. Okay. Then I'm gonna take some yellow ochre, which is a darker yellow, towards the bottom, like the underneath, just kind of like a shadow. Maybe just on one side of the pineapple. Just dropping it in there like that. I might take a little bit of green and mix it with my yellow to get a really light. <clears throat> really light wash of green for some of the bits even lighter wash than that okay just tapping it because you know there's you got some green in those pineapples they're not completely ripe there's really no specific way i'm kind of doing this kind of keeping it to one side and i'm going to use that yellow ochre again to just get the deep kind of shadows underneath so just tapping the bottom of those little sections. Might brighten it up with some of that cadmium yellow again. Just kind of playing around like that, but it's really important to kind of get those white spaces in between. I might even take a little bit of my burnt umber, a little bit of brown at the bottom just to get those dark bits. Now this is where your arches paper, like your good quality paper will come in handy because these blends will be really nice. Um, unfortunately, if you are gonna be using some cheaper paper, you might get some interesting watermarks, um, which is okay, it's not a bad thing. I mean, it, it just looks a bit more abstract that way, but if it doesn't look exactly like mine don't worry that's just probably why all right so there's the base of our pineapple now i'm going to do the top of the pineapple so i'm just going to mix some of my sap green over here a light wash of it and i'm just going to even touch parts of those and just using the shape of my brush to kind of get those long they're not leaves what are they called <laughs> 
I don't know, the crown of the pineapple. Okay, and I'm even letting it bleed in to the pineapple a bit. Now I'm gonna take some darker green and just kinda tap that in there too, just to get some depth. Okay. Maybe some of that bright green that we mixed a bit earlier. Okay. Like that. <clears throat> and now what I am going to do, I'm going to do another layer just to kind of separate those petals. And by petals, I don't mean petals at all. <laughs> those kind of like leave parts on the top. Oh my gosh, I gotta figure out what I'm doing, what I'm saying before I say it. Okay, the top part of the pineapple. You know what I'm talking about, the green part. Um, <laughs> I'm gonna let it dry and then I'm gonna do another layer on top so I can get more layers so you can see the individual parts. Um, if you don't wanna do that, what I could have done, thinking back now, is leaving some white space so you can see those individual parts. But right now, I'm just gonna let it dry and then go over top of it. Okay, so now that it's dry, you can kind of see it's kind of all blended. So it just looks like one layer. Um, and I want to see the differences between each of those parts of that thing, you know. <laughs> so I'm going to go back in over top, make sure it's completely dry. And then I'm just going to create... New points like that. Like that. Okay, so you can see the different parts. And there you go. There is your super simple loose pineapple. Thank you guys so much for watching my video. I really hope you liked it and I hope you learned something. Don't forget to subscribe to this channel and follow me on Instagram for more. Have a great day guys. Bye.